Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to update from 15 on Linux Mint to Linux Mint 16. Oh, it will still be the Cinnamon desktop. Um, there are a few things you're going to have to do. Number one, you're going to want to make sure that you go to your settings. So you're going to click on menu, go up here to this icon with the gears in it. That's the settings icon. It'll say it down in the lower right hand corner. Click click on that get it to bring the settings up and then we're gonna have to go change okay make sure your theme is set to either cinnamon or Linux Mint and the other one's gonna be your login screen it's gonna ask for that user password super user or as it's called root password it's the very first password you put in whenever you created the first profile after installing Linux Mint. Put in that password. And you want to make sure that it is set on clouds. None of these other for your login window preferences. Make sure it is set on clouds or you are going to have a lot of problems. Once you get that set on clouds, and again, make sure that it changes your little bullet dot. If it does not change that, you didn't select it. See how it stayed there? Make sure it changes that bullet dot. Click close as soon as you have it changed. You can close the settings out at that point. Now we're going to have to run some commands. Down here in your lower bar, you should have a little icon that says terminal. And once you get it up, copy the very first commands yes it's gonna let me so if you copy all of them and paste them in it's gonna come up asking for your SU do anytime you do a command that's gonna install something or anything like that and you do a SU do command that's making it do it as super user so it would be just like going to the settings you're gonna put in that very first password for the very first account you ever created Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and make it SU. Okay, and that should have changed every one of those. To make sure it has, you'll notice how it's turned red. I am officially logged in as super user. If you would have saw, I put in SU. And then put in that password, it automatically made me super user. So the SU do is going to be automatic now. I'm going to copy these one at a time. Which is the way I would highly recommend that you do them. Oops, I didn't get the whole thing. Okay, there's the first one. Copy. Paste. There's the second one. I know it did it by copying all of these at once, but I'm going to do it one at a time to show you that this is probably the best way, starting out at first, that you want to do it, is do each command one at a time. You're going to make sure you do each one of these. There's four of them total. And then you can just type in clear screen. And you'll get to start over fresh. Now we're going to come down here to the second set of commands, as you do. We're going to copy the first one, paste, enter. There will be points where it comes up asking you yes or no. Just hit yes on all of them. Let it make all the changes. Trust me, you absolutely want it to update and change everything that it's going to update. See right there's the yes or no. Hit Y and just hit enter. And you can see it's on 98% now, so it takes quite a while for this process to run. So This ain't something you're going to want to do if you've got to immediately use the computer. This is something you're going to want to do if you're going to take off for a little while, or uh, if you know it's going to be a while before you absolutely need your computer. And now it's actually going through and unpacking and replacing all of them. Alright, and the last and final one is to do the last 
command which is going to officially perform the full upgrade update from 15 to 16 copy and paste the command hit enter okay and now we're ready at this point to reboot and see what happens so we're gonna exit that'll drop it back to standard user mode exit again to completely close it menu quit see how this right here is all jacked up now if you did not change the theme to clouds like you were supposed to right here where the login screen comes up you're going to end up getting all kinds of errors there are ways to fix that you're gonna to have to go google it on a different computer because you're gonna end up having to use vim to edit a couple of files to go in and change what that screen's gonna be but now that it boots up here's your new login screen for Linux Mint 16 put in that wonderful password Oh, hey, different sound. There are actually quite a few things in 16 that will be different. You'll get to see what they all are. All right, this is 16. Of course, you can see right there it says Linux Mint 15. But this is update 15 to 16. We are now running... the new version Hold on. see when you right click here this this looks a little different you got a few different options now change background there's the new Olivia You can see right there it says Linux Linux Mint Olivia. There's one that says Petra. I'm gonna switch it to the one that just straight up says 16. There's you can tell there's some new backgrounds in here that weren't there before. Now we have the Linux Mint 16 background. And as I stated, there are quite a few things that have changed. So now if you go to your settings, there's going to be a few extra things. This looks different. You know, I have this administration section down here, hardware right here, uh, preferences here. This is in advanced mode. One of the things you're going to have to do if you're running a uh, laptop, is this touchpad right here. You're going to have to go in and enable that and enable the mouse clicks with touchpad because if you don't it automatically disables that and you are not going to have your mouse clicks um, you're gonna end up having to do your basic setup just like before you're gonna go to your software sources put in that root password or the first password to the first account you ever made again you can do the configuration with the main and base remember whatever one after it goes through and does the scan is the one with the solid green bar those are the ones that are best for your location make sure these are selected You still have your users and groups. One of the things you want to make sure of is going to your device manager. If there's any uh, drivers, extra drivers that need to be installed or anything like that, you'll find them right here. And you'll want to make sure that you have these new drivers or select the most updated one. Uh, your login screens. Granted, yes, you can go download new ones but here it is and that's the new one I didn't want to tell you about right there you now have the mint X theme but you can still go download new ones and change it your power management still about the same your sound stuff's gonna work a little bit differently same with the Bluetooth if you have Bluetooth devices your startup programs 
your workspaces and stuff will be pretty well the same. Your screensaver is going to be exactly the same. So far, I don't want it to lock. Your panel, pretty well the same. I mean, the largest part of it's going to be the same. A few things, a few little minor differences. See, now you have the themes. This time, I'm going to switch to the Mint X theme because I like it a little better than the cinnamon. See how you have the lighter gray bar? But other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. That is how you do the update from Linux Mint 15 to 16. It will take you quite a while, especially depending on your internet connection. If you have a slow internet connection, it's going to take you a very long time. If you have a fast internet connection, it can still take every bit of an hour. But once you're done, you'll be up to Linux Mint 16 and you'll be good to go. This information is out there for absolutely everybody as always. Watch, like, and share. Have a great day.